Hello friends, so welcome to this new session on real numbers and uh, till now we were dealing with uh, Euclid's division lemma and in the last video we saw uh, the geometrical interpretation of Euclid's division algorithm to find greatest common divisor. So if you remember we started with two strings of two different lengths and uh, one was uh, of 42, another was of length 30 and then we tried to find out uh, the method of dividing these two strings into segments which were of same length but the criteria was that the length should be highest length of the segment so formed should be highest and if you remember this is what we did and uh, we we uh, we split it into two strings like this and uh, then we divided the the longer one in terms of the smaller one multiples of the smaller one and then we got 12 as leftover and finally we kept on repeating the process still we eventually landed up with seven strings of seven segments of length six each and five of six each from the another one and then hence we declared that six was the greatest common divisor of 42 and 30. now today in this session we are going to study what exactly is greatest common div uh, divisor so let's understand the term gcd or hcf as it's mentioned in many other books so gcd stands for greatest greatest common common divisor so we'll try and understand what does it mean and in your textbook you'd have also encountered another term called hcf and this is highest highest common highest common factor so you remember we discussed in the initial few sessions what was a factor so hence the idea is to understand the meaning of the three words what words greatest common divisor or greatest common factor in reverse order that means we'll first take up what is divisor or a factor so let us understand what is divisor so we already know what is a divisor so we say a divides b so this was a notation of a divides b and it means that it is what it mean is we can find out a c such that b is equal to a into c right so please remember a and b are b are integers are integers so we say that a is a divisor of b when we can find out another integer c so if you see this is another integer another integer c such that a times c is b example so let's say i say 3 divides 12 why because i can write 12 as 3 into 4 where 4 is another integer now similarly 4 divides 32 why because 32 is equal to um, 4 into 8 yeah so we say 4 divides 32 and 3 divides 12 right now we understand and so hence divisors are also called as factors and in many literature especially in the greek literature early ancient greek literature you'll also see factors are also called measure so they are also called measure so you will see these terminologies in mathematical literature they will either call gcd or uh, divisor or a factor or measure so all these three words mean the same okay now let's understand common the moment we are saying common that means we are dealing with more than one integer so hence it can be a pair of integers it could be three integers four so on and so forth so let's start with a pair of integers so we say that uh, we have let's say um, two two integers namely 60 and let's say we have 40 and we are interested in finding out all common common factors of common factors or divisors of of 60 and 40 very easy method simple let us the big number is not big so we don't need any algorithm we can straight away find out uh, the common divisor so let's say 60 if i have to enumerate the divisors of 60 you all know one is common to every integer so one common divisor of every integer so 60 divisors are one then we have two then we have three then we have four four times 15 is 16 then five times now uh, 12 is 60 so 5 is also there 7 is not there 8 is not there 9 is not there then comes 10 then comes 10 then 11 
not there 12 yes then 15 then 20 then 30 and then 60 itself so these are the these are the um, factors or divisors of uh, 60 let's enumerate the divisors of 40 so one clearly is there then is two then is uh, four then five eight then 10 again then uh, 20 and then 40 okay so these are the uh, the factors of 40 now the third step is to find out the common factor so i hope i have written all the factors if i have not you guys are smart enough to figure out what all are common factors but just to re recheck so it's one two three four five oh my god yes i was wrong six is missing here so six and then seven uh eight not there nine ten so six ten five twenty twelve fifteen four three twenty two thirty yeah correct so this these are all now here five eight four ten three is not there two twenty one forty correct so these are the factors of uh, sixty and forty now let us find out the common factors so one is common to both two is also common to both okay then four is also common to both so these are common factors so that is that is what was meant by common factor so 5 is also common to both isn't it 10 again is a common factor and in fact 20 should have been written here so i'm writing here so 20 is also a common factor so if you see 20 is also a common factor then uh, none, none other than these many so what all are common factors let us write down so we are i'm writing common factors common factors common factors of 40 and 60 and there are lot many how many in fact one two three four five six six common factors are there they are six in numbers six in numbers now out of these six i have to pick one which is the highest okay so let's enumerate one two four five ten twenty so out of these which one is highest you know this is highest so hence this becomes my gcd this becomes my gcd and how do i express this in mathematical literature we say gcd of 40 comma 60 is equal to 20. many literatures also would say simply 40 comma 60 within brackets is equal to 20. but to avoid confusion we usually mentioned or prefix gcd into this bracket so we say gcd of a and b is equal to c where c is the highest common divisor of a and b okay this is how it is mentioned in mathematical literature okay now uh, let's take another example to see what gcd actually means or what are the let's say uh, gcd of two numbers maybe uh, let's pick up two integers again and find out the gcd of uh, these two numbers so let us say the gcd of uh, we are interested in finding out gcd of 72 and let's say 20 these are a and b so i'm interested in finding out gcd of 72 comma 20 is equal to what so let's quickly find out uh by the way this is the way we are trying to find out gcd here is not the way it is actually found out because if the numbers if the integers are small you can always do that but what if the numbers are pretty large let's say you have to find out gcd of uh, uh, 1024 and let's say 4096 in this case you cannot you know go by enumerating the factors and then finding the highest common factor no we will talk about the uh, different algorithms including euclid's algorithm to find the gcd of two integers but here we it, this this particular practice or exercise is being done just to understand what gcd is yeah so once and for all you understand what gcd is so now let us find out the factors of 72 so what all are the factors of 72 let's enumerate again so 72 will be uh, or 72 factors are 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 and uh, then 5 is not there 6 yes 6 is there 7 is not there 8 is there 9 is there then 12 is there then 18 is there then 24 
and then 36 and then finally 72 itself so how many 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so there are 12 factors of 72 Get out the factors of 20 so if you see 20 is nothing but 1 2 3 is not there 4 then there is 5 6 is not there 7 8 not there 10 and then finally 20 itself so these are the factors of um 20 now our objective is to find out common factors so if you clearly see one is common to both two is common to both and then finally four is common to both apart from that there are no common factors of 20 and 72 so hence my friends what is the highest among one two and four clearly this one is gcd so we write gcd or hcf of 72 comma 20 is four right so this is how gcd uh, this in this video what did we learn what is meant by greatest common divisor thank you